in this video we gonna learn about sampling many of you comment that uh, please make a video about sampling so in this video we gonna learn about sampling in simplest way okay first sampling means sampling means suppose there is a large population okay there is a large population these are the unit you take a small part of the population okay this is called sample this is sample so what is sample a small part of the large population that exactly replicate the large population that is sample okay so sampling are two types mainly two types sampling are mainly two types one is non probability sampling one is probability sampling one is non probability sampling one is probability sampling okay so what is non probability sampling and what is probability sampling non probability sampling means probability of being selected is unknown and probability sampling means probability of being selected is known okay so what are the examples of non probability sampling these are quota sampling snowball sampling and convenient sampling okay and what are the probability sampling these are the simple random system stratified multi stage and cluster among these examples mainly we going to learn about probability sampling because this is very important mainly focus about simple random systematic random stratified sampling and cluster sampling these are the very very important in the exam point of view and one more thing probability sampling method is the only sampling method that draw a valid conclusion non probability method cannot draw a valid conclusion okay now let's discuss about all the points of probability sampling so first simple random first simple random simple random sampling what is simple random sampling suppose this is your population okay these are the unit these are the unit okay what is simple random uh, sampling that any unit any unit can be randomly selected any unit suppose you can select you can select this unit for sampling you can select randomly randomly you can select any unit so what are the prerequisite of simple random sampling so list should be completed list should be completed because any unit can be selected in this sampling so you have to give the complete list isn't it you have to give the complete list so each unit each unit equal chance equal chance so what are the advantages advantages are what are the advantages advantages are this is simplest method this is simple method and sampling error can be easily measured sampling error sampling error can be easily measured can be these are the advantages and what are the disadvantages what are the disadvantages 
you have to give complete list you have to give so complete list needed now systematic sampling systematic systematic sampling suppose these are the unit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay these are the unit so you select here in specific interval suppose you select you select one suppose you uh, decide i will uh, select sample every two interval so two gap three gap you select four one four so five gap six gap select seven eight gap nine gap select ten so see one four three gap four seven three gap seven ten three gap okay you select the sample in a specific interval that is systematic sampling so there is a specific interval specific interval okay advantage advantage easy method easy method okay more easy method is simple random but it is it is also easy method but a specific disadvantage is here disadvantage what is the disadvantage of systematic sampling suppose a disease have cyclical trend in this case systematic sampling is very very dangerous why suppose this is the disease trend and this is the representation of er now this disease happen every two year interval and this disease starts from second year so two year interval these are the occurrence of the disease okay now you select sample from one and give interval two so your sampling is one two gap three gap four five gap six gap seven seven gap eight gap nine so you select those sample who doesn't take the disease year isn't it so in this case systematic sampling is very very dangerous okay so this disadvantage of systematic sampling is dangerous in cyclical trend okay now we will learn about stratified sampling in this sampling we have to stratify the each stratum suppose these are one type of study sample these are another type of study sample and these are one more another type of study sample first we have to stratify them so we have to stratify them let's stratify this then we have to stratify the red one then we have to stratify the violet one so these are the ones stratum these are another stratum these are another stratum here everything is mixed up here everything is mixed up we have to stratify them okay so one stratum two stratum three stratum suppose you allocate this unit from violet stratum this unit from red stratum this unit from blue stratum so sampling 
from each stratum. What is the disadvantages of stratified sampling? Here, the sampling error calculation is very very difficult. So, sampling error calculation, this is disadvantage. Now, one more sampling that is cluster sampling. Cluster sampling. Suppose these are the population, these are the population. What is cluster sampling? You have to uh, divide those population in many clusters. Suppose this is one cluster, this is another 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 cluster. Okay. You divide them one cluster, two cluster, three cluster, four cluster, fifth cluster, sixth, seventh, eighth, eight. Total eight cluster. So here the sampling method is you have to allocate the unit from each cluster. So, one unit from here, one unit from here, one unit from here, one unit from here, from here one unit, one unit from here and one unit from here and one unit from here. Okay. From each cluster, you have to select one unit. So, <coughs> select unit from each cluster. Okay, here also, here also calculating the sampling error is very very difficult. So this is disadvantage of cluster sampling. So what is disadvantage? Sampling error calculation is difficult. One more thing, design effect is seen in this type of sampling. So this is all about the cluster method. Suppose in a state you have to observe immunization. So which sample do you select? This is clustering sampling. sampling. Why? Each cluster means each district. You select sample from each district so to observe immunization, you can select cluster method. So this is all about the sampling. So quickly revise. Sampling means two types of sampling, non-probability sampling, probability sampling. Non-probability sampling means quota sampling, snowball sampling, convenient sampling. Probability sampling, simple random, systematic, stratified, multi-stage cluster. Simple random means each unit can be selected randomly. So disadvantage is you have to give the complete list. Now systematic sampling. Specific interval you select unit. So disadvantage is if there is cyclical trend this sampling method can be dangerous. Now stratified sampling you have to arrange the sample in a stratum then you can sample it. Now cluster sample, you can choose unit from each cluster. So this is all about the sampling. This is very very important for your exam. Please revise it. Uh, see you in next video. Till then, sign up. Ta -ta.